Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. If you're having trouble getting your smart garage hub connected or staying connected, this video is for you. We'll help you understand how your product works and how to fix the common issues you may be experiencing. Make sure you have downloaded the latest MyQ app. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. Let's take a look at what's going on in your garage space. A successful smart garage setup is all about the connections. The system consists of a garage with a sectional garage door, the smart garage hub, a smartphone with the MyQ app, the modem or router for your Wi-Fi home network, the door sensor that comes with the hub, a compatible garage door opener, and your MyQ account on the MyQ server. As we walk through the app and show you how the lights on the hub change, watch the progress bar to keep track of where we are in the setup process. Most users are able to complete the setup with no issues. If you do need to troubleshoot, we'll show you the most common causes and how to fix them. Let's start with the power connection. When the hub is plugged in, the blue, green, and yellow indicator lights tell you what's going on with your setup. The flashing blue indicator means the hub is not connected but is ready for setup. If your hub is plugged in and none of the lights are on, the problem is most likely the power source. If you have a lamp, plug it in to test the outlet. If there is no power, check the circuit breaker or plug the hub into a different outlet that does have power. If the outlet has power and the hub lights still won't come on, replace the hub. Click the Contact Us link at support.chamberlaingroup.com and reach out to us with an email about your issue. The next step is for the phone to connect to the hub. In the app, Android devices detect the hub automatically, while Apple users scan or type the serial number to connect. When the blue light is solid, your hub is connected to your phone and is ready for the next step, connecting to your home network. Here's what to expect if the connection fails. The app will detect that something's not right. It will walk you through resetting the hub to the factory default. To reset the hub, press and hold the gear button until the blue light begins to blink. The hub might beep. Press and hold the gear button a second time until the hub beeps and the blue light begins to blink. Unplug the hub and plug it back in. Then, start the app setup over again. If you've already tried resetting the hub and you still can't go any further in the app setup, here are some things you can try. For Android users, the hub should be automatically discovered by the MyQ app. If you go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings, you'll notice that your hub shows up in the list of Wi-Fi networks, similar to a router, but you don't make the connection here. If the hub wasn't discovered in the app, it may be due to interference from other Wi-Fi devices broadcasting on the same 2.4 GHz channel. Try turning off the other Wi-Fi devices. The goal is to eliminate everything but the hub, your mobile device, and your home network router. Now when you attempt to connect, your hub should be discovered. You can also try plugging in the hub in the same room where the router is located. Make sure other Wi-Fi devices are turned off or moved out of the area. If the hub still isn't discovered in the app, replace the hub. Click the Contact Us link at support.chamberlaingroup.com and reach out to us with an email. The Wi-Fi on your mobile device may also be having issues. Go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and forget the MyQ device. Turn Wi-Fi off and then on to refresh the Wi-Fi on your device. Now when you attempt to connect, your hub should be discovered. If it still isn't appearing, replace the hub. Click the Contact Us link at support.chamberlaingroup.com and reach out to us with an email. Android or Apple users may experience the blue light on the hub going from blinking to solid and then back to blinking. When your phone connects to the hub, it is no longer connected to the Internet because the hub is not a Wi-Fi router. If your phone is set up to automatically switch to the last working Internet connection, this will break the connection to the hub and the solid blue light will return to blinking blue. The fix is to turn off Auto Network Switch, Mobile Assist, or whatever your phone's feature is called. Then, start the app setup over again. You can turn Auto Network Switch or Mobile Assist back on once you've finished setting up. The lights on the hub will change three times during the connections from the hub to your home Wi-Fi network and then to the MyQ server. First, the app looks for available Wi-Fi networks and prompts you to enter your Wi-Fi password. 
the lights go from solid blue to blinking blue and green while the hub attempts to connect to the Wi-Fi router using your password. If the password was correct, the lights go from blinking blue and green to blinking green. The hub has successfully connected to the router. Finally, the lights go from blinking green to solid green when the hub has connected to the MyQ server. This usually happens pretty quickly. The MyQ server is where your account information and device setup are stored. Let's look at how to solve issues for each of these steps, starting with the app looking for available Wi-Fi networks. Troubleshooting this connection may require you to change settings in your router. Be sure to follow the instructions from your router manufacturer. Just a heads up, Resetting your router or changing settings may disconnect your other Wi-Fi devices such as cameras, tablets, and televisions. Be prepared to set up these other devices again. If the app is unable to connect to available Wi-Fi networks or if your Wi-Fi network is not listed in the app, the lights will not change from solid blue to blinking blue and green. This may be because your router is not broadcasting 2.4 GHz. Make sure your router has this setting turned on. Another reason is because your router is too far away from the hub, so the Wi-Fi signal is too weak. Try moving the router closer to the garage. If you can't do that, temporarily plug in the hub in a location that's closer to the router. This isn't a permanent solution, but you'll be able to confirm that the hub and router work together. If they connect successfully, you'll need to install a Wi-Fi range extender to supply a strong signal to the garage. Make sure to install the extender within range of the strong signal from the router. Locating the extender in an area of weak router signal will not help. If your home network is found in the app, the light on your hub will stay solid blue and never change to blinking blue and green if you've entered the wrong Wi-Fi password. The only way to fix this is to enter the correct password. Blinking blue and green lights mean the hub is attempting to connect to the router. If your hub lights continue to blink blue and green and never change to blinking green, this is usually because of the way your router is set up. If your router has MAC address filtering turned on, turn it off. This is sometimes the case for Apple routers. If Wi-Fi encryption is set to something other than WPA, WPA2, this can cause issues. Change your encryption settings to WPA, WPA2. The Smart Garage Hub is not compatible with WPA Enterprise. When the hub connects to the MyQ server, the light changes from blinking green to solid green. If the green light continues to blink and fails to turn solid, it means the hub has not connected to the MyQ server. This is usually because of the way your router is set up. Check whether port 8883 is blocked. If it is, you can fix the issue by setting up port forwarding or by unblocking the port in the router firewall settings. The port may also be blocked in your firewall software, so check there as well and unblock if necessary. The issue may also be that the MyQ server is unavailable, but this is extremely rare. In this situation, the only thing to do is wait for the server to become available. The next connection is from the door sensor to the hub. During setup, Pressing the test button once lets you know the door sensor is working when the red light flashes. Pressing the test button the second time pairs the sensor to the hub. The red light on the door sensor flashes, the hub beeps, and the white light flashes to let you know pairing was successful. If the red light on the door sensor does not flash when you press the test button, make sure you have removed the battery tab. If the battery tab has already been removed, Open the cover of the door sensor and remove the battery and put it back in to make sure the connection is snug. Also make sure there is no debris, such as a broken off piece of the battery tab. Then replace the cover. Test the battery again, pressing the button five times, waiting 10 seconds between each press. If the red light does not come on all five times, you'll need to replace the battery. The replacement battery is a CR2450 3 volt coin cell battery. To continue setting up in the app, tap the menu bars, tap device management, tap your hub, tap add new, tap door sensor. The app will walk you through the rest of the setup. If the red light on the door sensor flashes, but the hub does not beep or flash the white light, you may notice the app setup does not continue. If this happens, 
clear channels 1 and 2 on the hub. If you've already mounted the hub, unmount it for easier access to the buttons and lights. Be sure to plug it back in if you relocate it and wait for the green light to turn solid. While looking at the lights, press and release button 1. You'll see the solid yellow and green lights. Press and hold button 1 until the blue, yellow, and green lights turn off. The solid green light will return. Repeat these steps for button 2. If you successfully pair your door sensor, but you don't or can't complete the setup of your garage door opener, your app will show the hub was added to your MyQ account, and the app would display an icon showing Monitor Mode Only. This means the app can detect the position of the garage door, but it can't open or close the garage door. You can receive alerts in Monitor Mode. Completing the connections requires pairing a compatible garage door opener to the hub. When this connection is successful, the app prompts you to name your garage door opener. The opener appears as a device on your MyQ account, and it appears as an icon in the MyQ app. Tapping the icon will open and close the garage door. If your hub didn't pair to the garage door opener, check the following. Some LED light bulbs can interfere with pairing the smart garage hub to your garage door opener. If you have an LED light bulb in your garage door opener, remove it temporarily. If this resolves the problem and the hub pairs successfully, replace the LED bulb with a different brand. Problems with this connection are caused when the garage door opener is not compatible. After you follow the app instructions to press the Learn or Program button on the garage door opener, you may experience the app making several unsuccessful attempts to pair the opener. Some brands of garage door opener may need up to 11 attempts to complete the pairing. You'll see a message saying pairing was not successful. First, go to myq.com slash myq dash compatibility and look for your garage door opener. If it's not listed as a compatible model, replace it with one that is compatible. If your garage door opener is listed as compatible, here are some things you can try. Check the manual for your garage door opener for instructions on programming a remote. This will tell you how to put the garage door opener into learn mode. Make sure you follow these instructions. Change the location of the smart garage hub. Make sure it is still within four to six feet of the garage door opener and located where it can be seen from the garage door entrance. Make sure it's not obstructed by items that can cause interference like heavy metal structures. Clear channels one and two on the hub. If you've already mounted the hub, unmount it for easier access to the buttons and lights. Be sure to plug it back in if you relocate it and wait for the green light to turn solid. While looking at the lights, press and release button one. You'll see the solid yellow and green lights. Press and hold button one until the blue, yellow, and green lights turn off. The solid green light will return. Repeat these steps for button two. Clearing the channels removes any paired door sensors. To continue setting up in the app, tap the menu bars. Tap Device Management. Tap Your Hub. Tap Add New. Tap Door Sensor. The app will walk you through the rest of the setup. If it works, congratulations. If not, replace the garage door opener. If your smart garage hub was working fine, but now it's not connected or it loses connection from time to time, here are the most common reasons and how to fix them. If you replaced your router or modem, or if you changed the password on your home Wi-Fi network, you'll need to use the MyQ app to get your hub connected again. Tap the menu bars. Tap Device Management. Tap your hub. Choose Change Wi-Fi Settings. The app will walk you through updating your setup based on the color of the lights on your hub. Make sure your new router is set to 2.4 GHz. Make sure you have the correct Wi-Fi password for your new router. If you've moved your modem or router to another location, you may have affected the Wi-Fi signal in the garage where the hub is located. If your hub was connected when your router was in its original location, put it back. That's the easiest way to ensure you'll be able to get connected and stay connected. If you've added new Wi-Fi devices, they may be causing interference. Try relocating the new devices so they are as far away from the hub as possible. The location of the hub is also important. It must be installed where it can be seen from the garage door opening. The best location is on the ceiling, 
between four to six feet from the garage door opener. Don't move the hub to a location inside a cabinet or where it might be blocked by other objects that can interfere with the Wi-Fi signal or the hub's communication with the garage door opener. If you need help troubleshooting any issues, visit support.chamberlaingroup.com. We'll help you through. Thanks, and enjoy your new smart garage.